Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the new moon in Leo for August 4th, 2024. New moons bring in new cycles. You have a really nice cycle. Um, you have um, the direction the reading is going in is number eight, consciousness, happy success. Number eight is a power number, so you can really be empowered or you can be empowering other people. But this is a fulfilled wish. Um, so I don't know what to tell you about it. I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, happiness is a choice, and it's um, a conscious choice. Um, your mental attitude has everything to do with your life, and if you choose to be happy, then most things follow. And even if there's something negative happening, and you still choose to be happy, then, you know, it's, it's what we allow to affect us um, that can bring us down. Now this is a card that marks a really great joyful time and abundance for you. Um, there can be an expanse in wealth and love and business achievement. Um, there's a promise here that, that a wish you've been dreaming about is coming your way. So I guess be open to success um, and happiness. Don't know what more to say about that. It's really nice, Sag. So, well done. Um, let's see how what the cards have to say about it. Like I said, eight is a power number. It can be used for good or its opposite. It's just putting power behind anything. So if you choose happy success, then you're putting your energy behind um, happy success and, 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 uh, and something really nice coming your way. There it is. There it is, Sag. Very nice. A wish fulfillment card twice. Well done. It looks like you've worked really hard for it, though. Um, the center card is... Okay, so, I'm sorry. The first set of cards is where you find yourself at the time of the new moon. Or if you're starting something um, consciously, you can find it here. Uh, the second set of cards is you and what you're thinking, how you're feeling, what you're doing. Um, the last set of cards is uh, probable outcome, probable because some things we are able to change um, when we have the right information and some things uh, we can, uh, ha are, we have wanted to experience, we came here to experience it and so we cannot change it. Um, but always, 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 always for our growth. Okay. Nice cards, nice. Well, you have the Seven of Wands, which is competitive energy. There could have been some competition around you, some situations and people that are trying to knock you down from that happy success that you were feeling. But there is some emotional gift. Um, there's an emotional fulfillment and a wish that is being granted. But that wish is being granted because we have faced our fears. That is um, uh, Jupiter and Pisces. <laughs> and Jupiter gives, 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 gives. And so I would say at this time also be careful of overindulging. He's even got a little belly there. So maybe you can gain a little weight at this time. Do be careful of that. However, you have the Ace of Wands. So that is a new passionate beginning, um, a new kind of will to live for something, right? The, the wands are our willpower, our will, our ego. Um, it is, if accepted, the stuff that dreams are made of. Really nice. Really nice. It is also my autumn timing card, so perhaps these things come um, towards the end of the two weeks, this new beginning or this new opportunity or this new uh, wish fulfillment, and if, unless it happens at the beginning, but it is my autumn timing card. Maybe you hear about it in the beginning of the two weeks, but it comes in the autumn uh, at some point. But it's good. It's a new passion. Okay, so then you have how you're behaving. The Four of Cups, that's not nice and the Knight of Wands. Four of Cups is a bit of a moody card, a little bit moody. 
um, it is the moon in Cancer and so the moon can affect you uh, very much this time however uh, it is in your element it's fiery and there can be a bit of an erratic energy a message can come in that might change things up maybe you were feeling a little bit dissatisfied or moody but that cup that's coming in um, I don't know if you can see it but there is something being offered here so here's three things that didn't satisfy you there's a real dissatisfied feeling with this card and this um, cup coming in here is saying fill it up with what you want if you were dissatisfied here's a new opportunity um, put it in put in it what what you wish that will make you happy that will make you fulfilled and that may come in through a message of some sort eh. The Knight of Wands is my messenger card. It can be a bit of an erratic energy. It can be very excitable. Um, and, uh, oh, and here is Leo, the Queen of Wands. Uh, this is a female, um, but this is how you're going to be behaving because it's in the, co in, in the context of uh, what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you're feeling. So you can feel a bit like a Leo during this time. Now, um, this is a magical card. I think it goes so nice with the magician. Uh, for me, uh, a female Leo is um, magic. The, the sign of Leo is the sun, right? It is um, magnanimous. It gives. It's that male, uh, young, outgoing energy. But because she's female, she has that yin receptive energy. And that's the perfect combination for magic, for manifesting, right? We send something out and we receive it back. So perfect, perfect uh, energy. You're going to be quite attractive at this time. Um, so you can attract the things that you want towards you. Um, uh, you can be a very good friend at this time. Um, you could really love this month because you feel like you're in your element. Um, you could have a lot of energy. You can, um, it's a magical, it's a magical energy and it's very well balanced. Um, you can have a lot of creative ideas and creative potential with the Queen of Wands. Um, most people really like a Queen of Wands. There's just something really, there's a, a great friend energy in a Queen of Wands. Really lovely. Really nice. Okay, and the outcome is the wonderful magician and the choice, the lovers. The magician is your vision and your concept for the magic that's happening for you right now. It certainly is magical. Um... I will. It is your willpower. And you seem to have it in droves. Um, you have three wands and the magician. Um, you have wish fulfillment. So it can lend, whatever you're wishing for, can lend itself to a new idea, a new concept, something that you really enjoy doing and want to do. And then you have the choices, the lover's card. You can be at a... Um, fork in the road and um, you may have to make an important choice at this time you have two major arcana as the last uh, two cards and so there can be the need to this can be a very internal energy we have some ups and downs here um, the choice that you have to make may leave somebody else feeling a little bit emotional or you may have to deal with some emotional instability. This is the grief card. Um, I don't feel like it's you, although you do have that moodiness. That You do have the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups moodiness, if not dealt with, can lead to this Five of Cups depression. 
but I don't feel like it's you. And I do feel like the choice is, um, like I said, do I want to be happy or do I want to let things affect me and bring me down? And this is a very interesting card, the lovers, because these are the three stages of love or the three levels of love. And this one is very hedonistic. This is very um, uh, passion-based, sexual. Uh, this one is more of the motherly love, um, love for family, love for children, love for a home, that kind of love. And this, the highest form of love, is compassion. And that seems to be a choice that you're dealing with now. And so what do you, how do you let um, emotional instability affect you? It is, it is through your own willpower um, that you can change it, make it better, make it worse. It's kind of up to you. Still you have happy success. So um, I think that the, the Five of Cups can be something minor. Um, it is definitely sort of like... Um, asking you to turn away from what is negative and what is difficult and keep your attention on what is positive and good. What does Spirit want you to know? You have wisdom. Act with wisdom and people will respect you. And this can also be somebody else who's having some emotional uh, instabilities and it is your choice on how you deal with it. Okay? All right, Sedge, I will leave you with this. Thank you for listening. I will return in two weeks with a full moon reading. Your view is just very important to me and very much appreciated, uh, but I do hope it's been helpful. Thank you for now. See you in two.